can collagen supplements cause cancer? That was the email that I received recently from someone who was basically panicked over the possibility that maybe taking a collagen supplement can cause cancer. And I quite frankly had never heard of this before and decided to do some research on it. And I can understand why people might be alarmed at this because if you do some research online for yourself and essentially do a search for this, you're gonna find various clinical studies such as immune modulary properties of collagen and cancer, Here's another study, the role of collagen in cancer from bench to bedside. Type one collagen promotes survival of human breast cancer cells. And even this study, collagen as a double-edged sword in tumor progression. What the heck is going on here? So as I delved more into this and read some studies, I discovered that what they're basically talking about here is something called the extracellular matrix. So flashback to high school biology class, you know that inside the cells there is what's called a cytoplasm. That's where your nucleus is found, your mitochondria and, and other things. Well, outside of your cells is where the extracellular matrix is found. Extracellular means outside of the cells. So the extracellular matrix basically holds cells in place kind of like a scaffolding. However, it's much more complicated than that because the extracellular matrix allows cells to communicate with each other as well. It plays a role in cell proliferation, even cell death. Now, one of the things about the extracellular matrix that you should know is that it's made up of a lot of different proteins, such as elastin, glycoproteins, and collagen. Collagen makes up a big part of the extracellular matrix. So one of the things when it comes to cancer is that it appears that when cancer is forming, it changes the extracellular matrix. And actually cancer causes the formation of a different type of collagen that is not naturally made in the human body. So obviously this is really complicated stuff and we're not gonna delve too deep into the woods here, but essentially what appears to be happening is that cancer changes the extracellular matrix and it changes it in such a way as that it allows the matrix to coat the cancer cells and protect it from the immune system. If the immune system can't get at the cancer, it can't destroy the cancer. So what does this all mean for collagen supplements? Is it possible that you might be doing more harm than good by promoting cancer by taking a collagen supplement? So I did some online research on this and I could not find any clinical evidence suggesting that collagen supplements like you buy in the store are gonna promote cancer. I couldn't find a case report of anybody who developed cancer and it was linked to taking a collagen supplement. And just as a double check on all this, I did go to the MD Anderson Cancer Center website and did find an article titled, Should I Take a Collagen Supplement? Which talks a lot about collagen supplements. As you can imagine, is collagen good for you and all that stuff. Now on that page, there is a section, what should cancer patients know about collagen supplements? And they quote, while there is some research indicating the potential potential for collagen to slow metastasis, there's not enough evidence to recommend taking supplements after cancer diagnosis or during treatment. Patients should always consult with their physician before taking any supplement as some may interfere with treatment. And I would agree with that, especially antioxidant supplements. But if you take a close look at what they're saying here, they're saying, while there is some research indicating that potential for collagen to slow the growth of cancer, there's not enough evidence to suggest taking collagen for cancer. So they're not even saying that collagen promotes cancer. They're instead pointing to some research suggesting that perhaps maybe collagen supplements may slow the growth of cancer, just the opposite of what this person was asking me. Now, what MD Anderson is referring to is essentially test tube studies and nothing in humans yet that, again, that I'm aware of. But I would think that if anybody was gonna talk about whether or not collagen could cause cancer, it would be MD Anderson, and they're not mentioning it. So what does all this mean for you? Number one, I would say, I can't find any evidence that collagen supplements promote the growth of cancer in anybody. I can't even find a case report where this appeared to have happened to anyone. Now, if you do have cancer, I would suggest you 
ask that question, can cancer be caused by collagen supplements, to your oncologist. And I think that's really a good idea because by the time you see this video, we may know more than when I'm recording this video right now. Now, if you're getting collagen in food like in Jell-O and gelatin supplements and bone broth, I don't have a problem with any of that because it's coming from food. However, when it comes to collagen supplements or any other supplements, if you do have cancer, your doctor really is your best resource. So to sum all this up, while there are some research papers out there which can lead people to believe that collagen promotes the formation of cancer in people, and there's even some bloggers that talk about this as well. I cannot find any evidence of this. Now that said, again, I'm going to reiterate and say if you do have cancer, definitely talk to your doctor for the best advice for you. If you've come across any research on this I did not see, leave it below and I'll take a look at it. And again, if you have any questions also, leave them below as well. And I hope this video helped. And until next time, everybody, you take care out there.